Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, the sell side has been active from yesterday's high. And at this point, we've seen a pullback down towards 24.43. Heading into the open, we have pre-market support at 41 to 43 and initial support at 37 to 39 half, which marks the short term balance breakout area. And the main question today is whether the breakout that we saw yesterday is going to stick. And if the buyers are going to maintain the breakout from yesterday, then we want to see ES holding above 37 to 39 half. And there's potential that buyers could even step in at the 41 to 43 pre-market support for a move back up towards the 49.75 to 51 quarter pre-market resistance zone and the 52.75 to 54.75 initial resistance zone. So heading into today, our short-term bias continues to be neutral, which means we have to be flexible with our real-time intraday bias. How the market responds to the 37 to 39 half zone is going to help us determine our real-time intraday bias. As long as ES holds above 37 to 39 half, there would still be potential for a move back up towards 49.75 to 51 quarter and 52.75 to 54.75. But if we fail at 37 to 39 half, then we could see a test of yesterday's RTH low at 32 quarter and the support zone at 27 half to 30, where responsive buyers can still be active on first test. On the upside, in order to get a break beyond 52.75 to 54.75, we will want to see some decent and sustained upside momentum and participation from the other markets. In the event that we do push higher, sell side can still be active at 58 to 60 half and at 63 to 64. Looking at the econ calendar, we have the new home sales number out at 9 a.m. Central Time and the oil number out at 9.30 a.m. Central Time. Given that we don't really have any major economic reports, as long as buyers hold initial support, the market could balance within a range and consolidate yesterday's breakout move. So that is the context heading into the open. The main question, again, is whether the breakout from yesterday is going to hold and how ES responds to 37 to 39 half is going to answer that question. So as long as buyers hold ES above initial support, there's still potential for a move back up towards pre-market resistance and initial resistance. And if we fail at initial support, then we may have to go down to 32 quarter and 27 half to 30 in order for the buyers to be active again. And below 27 half, responsive buyers can be active at the support zones below. So those are the main ideas heading into the open. Let's see if the buyers can hold ES above initial support or even pre-market support, and we'll take it from there.